So people just need to start doing this. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> just start thinking. I'm not applying with anybody for anything. I'll make it, I'll, yeah, well, I'll make declarations about things. Well, you don't want to yeah. confuse you to be in war. Oh, I got this really wonderful document that I haven't done anything with yet that was going to go after the Queen. I started developing it about a year ago, and it's actually like on 14 by 21 inch paper. I had it printed at the UPS store. It's it's actually like a declaration, and it's got all these points in it. That's uh, it, it's really nice. I still got some work to it. There's a reason I was going to send it off, but uh, it was more so just for shits and giggles. <laughs> but it's a declaration, right? Sovereigns, free men make declarations. We don't apply for things. You know? well, petition. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like when people ask, well, how, you know, how, how do I get to be a free man? It's like, okay, well, there's this office downtown in Ottawa. You write to them, and you fill this little application for free man status. No! No! <laughs> no! Right? It's like every time, uh, I used to love this about uh, Shroud seminars. Uh, I went to two of them, and people go there and be like, oh, I, I did what you said, and I sent this off, and they just completely ignored it, and what do I do now? And you say, oh, well, you call this number. Turn around the white corner, and you go, all you do when somebody doesn't obey one of your orders is you phone this, and you write, start writing 1 800, and then you'd write, cry baby. And all these people have their pens out, and they start writing this phone number down, eh? and then he gets to the crybaby part, and they're just like, ah, oh, you fucker, you got me, you know? <laughs> that's it, you know, that's it. You, people just want to whine about things, you know? If somebody's not obeying you, or they're not, you know, you got a commercial lien, and no one's, uh, and, and it's not going anywhere, it's because you haven't initiated anything with it. You haven't gone and done something yet to go and collect on that as a sovereign, because as a sovereign, you can go to an international banker, and you can do the same things the government does, period. Why? Because we're the ones that created this entire system. Period. We are the top rung. We created it all. So we can do anything any of these other guys can do. Period. And failing that, go home and plant a garden. And just go super gone on. So we gotta we gotta start taking the money away from these people. Because I got I'm telling you, I'm not happy with the, the, the services I'm getting. I like the hospitals. I've required stitches a few times. I don't want medication of any kind, ever. That's my own personal thing. I will never go on any kind of medication at all. I don't want that kind of help from Health Canada. I, do, I don't mind operations when one's needed. Like, uh, yeah, life-saving stuff, that kind of shit. I don't mind paying for those services. But uh, pretty much everything else, go fuck yourself. I'll just, I'll, I'll take care of myself. Thank you very much. Well, fluoride. The water. And only a little caveat yeah. to that. We're heading up the fluoride uh, argument here in Winnipeg to get the fluoride out of the water. You know all about that. You know it's toxic. Grand yeah. never put it in, etc. But for, just for the record, the, the, Canadian, the Canadian Medical Association. <laughs> uh, fluoride in my water. Their own epidemiology studies say that the system, the healthcare system, is killing approximately almost a million people a year. That's the whole intent of it. Yeah, exactly right. So it doesn't say. The, I'm, not, I'm not an advocate of medical. It doesn't say water. good health no. Canada. <laughs> you know you got those little PC health bars on your computer where it says PC health and it's got like one red line at the very bottom you're like oh fuck my computer is not looking too good. Yeah. Well that's what Health Canada is. <laughs> it doesn't say their mandate is to make sure our health is good. It just addresses the health of Canadians and I think that their mandate is to make sure that we're as unfucking healthy and dying as possible. When they change it to good health Canada then that's a promise that I'm going to want to cash in on. Until then, I'll look after my own health. So, yeah. Uh, any other points? Yeah. On that topic, fluoride, the point was to uh, try to get it out of the system. Yeah. Like, yeah, you mean uh, How would we pressure the politicians to get rid of it? Like, do a um, action be a, Like a private side, civil? Uh, can you write acts? Uh, those, are, those are big battles. Can we get up a declaration? Well, that is, uh, you, you probably have to. You probably have to start like doing the whole raising awareness thing and this and that and convincing. Uh, here's the, here's the, my problem with that is uh, I'm not a big fan of trying to convince the masses of anything. It seems ironic because apparently I'm, I'm trying to convince a, a number of people now. It wasn't my intention, by the way. Um, yeah, in your own locality, short of just well, you know what I know. Um, would I bother petitioning the tobacco companies to take mercury out of their cigarettes so when I smoke them they're better for me? Probably not. I mean, even though water is an essential service, ultimately you can go spend five bucks and buy a 20 gallon jug of water for yourself to drink. Should you have to spend but that five bucks if it's no. available on the me, tap? I know that, I know. Let me clarify something. Yeah, you gotta raise awareness. That, that water has fluoride in it. 
It that probably does because it's, it's gotten specific. into the system. And yeah, hydrofluorosilicic acid is very difficult to get out, and it's yeah. a very specific filter systems to take it out in the bottled water that you buy in the That's store, or that it still has it in. But I think I was asking matter. the question, and I hear you. And by the way, we're mm -hmm. re public awareness on the fluoride issue is exploding. We've That's got, good. Yeah, we've got two websites up actually mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Winnipeg mm -hmm. to get it out. But I think because Claudia and I talked about this before, this is a good question to ask. Yep, you, you got to ask. Have you been involved in any class action lawsuits, or like you know what I'm saying, like not so much an individual's case, but say something for the general public, like fluoride, like say what could we do? You, if, do if, the thing is, if you had an actual, if you had the um, for a class action lawsuit, the only way that I think that it could be relevant or uh, or have standing would be that if you have the like the the outline of your lawsuit, the um, because remember, every claim has got has got three parts. It's got the, the statement of facts, the damages based on those statements, and then the remedy demanded for the for the damage. So if your lawsuit has those three components together, and every single person you're claiming to represent has read that and yep. signed yep. as a party to it, then I would say yes, you can probably take that into court and and fight to win that. And we're pretty much right there right now. We got expert witnesses. It's medic. It's technically medication. It's te technically a toxin. I think yeah, they're, 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 medi they're medicating the water supply, which yeah. is still completely criminal. Yeah, sickening. to qualify as a class action lawsuit, it's like how many signatures? Like twenty. I don't know, but I was kind of thinking just to keep it simple, kiss whatever, uh, yeah. just one person filing something and prove to us that this is safe. Yeah. This See, is I don't know much about this. Um, I would want and if you can't safe. prove to us that this is safe, you have an obligation. Calgary to didn't well, they'll, they'll prove. They'll prove to you it's safe. Calgary didn't work if there was <laughs> yeah, so was rule. Safe. They, 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 they got a thousand doctors on their payroll that'll sign yeah. tomorrow yeah, saying that uh, fluoride is just wonderful for your teeth. Actually, you know, that's usually true. it's dentists, especially yeah. like if you listen to the radio or any of the the things where they're yammering from. They always contact dentists yeah. and ask them. Well, you know, how is it the fluoride? Yeah, so, I mean, I, what, what what relevancy does a dentist have to do with yeah. something I'm drinking that's going into yeah. my body? That's yeah. what's going to That's true. Statement. They're going to have oh, their expert yes. witnesses come forward and make that statement. We, and yeah. for the record, we have experts right now. There are doctors in the city on one of them. How about we? And there's internationals who will come forward as expert witnesses. But I think Claudia's the point's very good. To keep it simple, we don't like, want it. What about the damage to individual people? I don't, yeah, um, how about I just, I think it's damaging. I don't think it's good. If people want fluoride, then provide them with little pills they can take home. <laughs> which, right? they to, which they used to do. Which they used to do, yeah. yeah. I remember those red pills they used to give us in school and say, you know, we always used to chew them and our teeth would all get red and you're like, eh, hey, you're going to laugh at each other. That. That's terrifying yeah. now that I think about it. <laughs> what was that? That was fluoride. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was like pure fluoride. Yeah. yeah. Outside of the but how about, how about we just don't want something? I don't care if it's good or bad. I don't want it. We have the right to refuse things that even are beneficial for us. Yes. If people want it, take it out of something. Give it to them in a form that is not that, that, that is not just being produced to people on mass scale like water. That most people are dependent on. I just don't want it. Sure, bring a thousand of your doctors forward that, that say it is good for me and everything else. You know what? That's fine and dandy. I still don't want it. When I was a kid, I was told broccoli was really fucking good for me. And I, I better eat it. But I didn't want it. I don't care if it's good for me. I don't want it. The fluoride debater question is interesting, though, because if you do go to court with it, like, for example, all the, all the big companies right now are changing their, their public PR campaigns because they're removing fluoride from, the, from it because yeah. they know that something's brewing. Yeah. And the dentists are, are ganging, a lot of the dentists are coming to the fore and are saying, they're publicly saying this is bad. So you take this, to, look at it this way. So you take your average dentist out there in North America who's already intentionally given fluoride unclean patients that have passed, right? Well, that doctor is then liable. Like, individual doctor, relative, the contract they had with that patient. Yeah. Like, that's a, like that's a, that's that's a time done. bomb. It's a that's, it, that's individual lawsuits. Yeah. Yes. Which, Brings up the other question. Oh, great. Is, is, would it be better to do 5,000 individual lawsuits for the yeah. fluoride issue or just one class action lawsuit? Exactly. Um, 5,000 would be, would be much more difficult for them to deal with. I like the idea of 5,000 separate lawsuits. Because a class action lawsuit generally only benefits the lawyer. Or not, only, not, only, the not only that, a class action lawsuit, judges actually have the discretion to say, mm, nah, no. Yeah, good luck with 5,000 of those. 
right? And exactly. there was actually just something like that that happened actually with the judge throughout the oh, yeah, that, that Walmart class action lawsuit where like yeah, yeah, something like like important yeah, something like what 1.8 million people were suing Walmart for something. The judge just went. No, I really don't yeah. believe these people all have a common grievance with Walmart. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because they find a lawyer who yeah. is... You can, because you can make that argument, common grievance, right? That's right. That's for a women's rights issue for yeah. Walmart employees that technically took it to the Supreme Court, and they've lost because the courts are crooked, because those judges are crooked, of course, so you're so, not going to get a fair So we have nothing else, the individual lawsuits. It's like the same thing they've done to us for years now, is waste our time. Well, 5,000 individual lawsuits takes up a lot of their resources as well. Great. Do it. And here's another argument I'd love to see people start making when they go down to the courthouse and they start to file these lawsuits, and I've told a few people about this, is when they try to charge you the 240 bucks to file a lawsuit, yeah, number one, you say, well, excuse me, is there something I can sign to, to sign up for a program uh, to, to have that waived? Because I'm sorry, I don't have any money. And, I'm a, and I, it's my understanding this is a public, publicly funded courthouse. So if this is publicly funded, then I shouldn't have to pay for this. And if I can't afford it, are you denying me access to justice because I'm poor? <laughs> Did you do that? I haven't done that yet. I haven't had a need to do that. But do it. I'm poor. Are you denying me access to justice? Isn't that the reason it's supposed to be publicly funded? Is so even the poor have a right to justice? Well, now you don't have a $240 fee anymore either. So now we're not wasting our money going after these fuckers anyway, and that's one of the keys. So I hope you like that, my thoughts on that. Yeah, very much. That's all they are. Yeah, it does, because it helps to clarify, because we've been searching for different strategies. I, yeah, I wouldn't do the, the class action suit, I just don't, uh, I think that it leaves too many holes, that yeah. they can just say, well, I really don't believe you guys' co 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 you know, grievances uh, are common, or uh, I don't think that some of the people on this actually understood what was in this lawsuit. You know, just because you read it doesn't mean you understand it. If you don't understand it, then you have no, you have no claim. It's like, just sign this and you, you, you can get some, read this, say you understood it, and you'll get some money out of this lawsuit at the end, right? That's kind of, that's one of the goals that brings into a class action lawsuit. You were going to ask something. Uh, another uh, course of action we're contemplating was uh, sent, sending in a motion and sending a copy of that motion to the insurance carrier. The motion that, of what? That, like, that we're going to file a lawsuit against the city or for the Don't send, send, send them a notice. Or a legal notice. notice. Yeah. Yeah. And send a copy of that notice to the insurance carrier that insures yeah. the city's water system. Yeah, send them a notice of damage. You people have been poisoning me my entire life. And, and the reason for that You stunted my IQ. Look at me. Look at the way I'm talking. That's proof. <laughs> Like that's not a bad joke. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> 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 it would have been, yeah. been for the insurance company not to insure them in the future. Hey, we we feel it's going to be a liability in the future if you don't do what these people are telling you. Ah, uh, that's probably not going to scare them. So insurance companies do. don't care, right? You know, the best way to go into a, uh, one of those lawsuits is to do it yourself and represent yourself. I was in three of them. Of course. Hundreds, hundreds of millions. I got nothing. The yeah. lawyers got millions of dollars. Of course, of course, you have to represent yourself. If you subrogate, <laughs> oops, if you subrogate your rights to somebody else to enforce, then you no longer have any rights. I wish I would do that. And I'd love to meet the lawyer that could do a better job of defending my rights than me. Okay. So I don't know. We probably don't even need to tape anything more tonight. So no. that was my promise. Though, that we get on here real quick. Then though, is that well, that's what we're going to concentrate on. I think maybe next time. We'll give our, our battle plans away here to my adversaries to come and shoot you before we film the videos. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna teach people how to, to not file income taxes anymore, to not pay them, or to get them back if they had paid them. Uh, no promises, just what you can do about it. The, you're only gonna collect or make things work on your ability or your resolve to see through. And if you're not willing to, then just pay them um, and property taxes. That's too, too big. But because New Zealand is 16 hours.